name's Andrew. I play guitar, bass, and I write all the guitar parts. And Louis wrote one of the songs on guitar, and uh, we both went halves in writing lyrics. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I'm Louis. I play drums and vocals. Um, I was just doing vocals for the live show. We got another drummer. But yeah, I wrote a bit of the stuff as well. <laughs> Tracks were written, four tracks were written in 98, 99, and then we wrote another four tracks last year mm -hmm. and uh, put together a, a band to do a show with some other members from Perth who uh, were gracious enough to give us their time. Black Thrash. Yeah, I'd say Black Thrash. Thrash, but a little bit maybe faster or darker or the lyrical contents are they're a bit more anti-Christian or dark or whatever. But and the vocal style is a lot more uh, raw than a, a traditional Boy, 80s sort of thrash band where they use a lot more clean vocals. Yeah. Our vocals are you know, a lot more uh, sort of black style mm. uh, the way we play vocals. The riffs are a bit sort of meaner as well. But I bring that down to that kind of Australian thing again, you know. It's not American sort of Megadeth Testament kind of style of thrash metal. Not, yeah, or not Meg Bay Bay Area, Area sort of stuff. Not yeah, like Metallica, yeah. Bay Area. It's definitely more kind of Australian, European from that kind of world, if anything. Mm. Scandinavian, you know, ish that, thrash. The 80s from those countries. Yeah, but you can be safe by calling it thrash. Yeah. It's pretty safe. <laughs> Atomic Warfare! Um, inspiration, heavy metal, metal. Inspiration for this sort of music. Let's name drop. Uh, in terms of music, back then when we started this, we were listening, I was listening to a lot of stuff like Onslaught and um, Militant Mass was kicking around at the same time, sort of Perth thrash metal band. And, um, but yeah, inspiration for me comes from a bunch of different bands, all the classic bands, Metallica and Napalm Death and Morbid Angel and Terrorizer. I think a lot of it's Terrorizer-esque. Mm. And just inspiration comes from life, just from being here, wanting to get busy, wanting to do stuff. It's yeah. also, also a good album for when you're in an aggressive sort of frame of mind, a party kind of mind, you know? Drinking some Jack Daniels and turning it up loud, and it's perfect. Yeah, know? I think that's where a lot of it came from, is it, we started off with our own rehearsal demo tapes that we would just take to parties, and we'd get really hammered or whatever, and as soon as everyone was really pissed, we'd just put it on, and it was just the perfect soundtrack. Mm. That's kind of when it works best. Thrash! Yeah. Attack! towards hell and uh, anti-Christian views, which is something that we've always, well, I've always believed in personally. Yeah. And um, we push hard. <laughs> it's, it's, Just think for yourself, making up your own yeah. mind on things and yeah, exactly. knocking down all those kind of barriers to get in your way, like, like religion and stuff. Yeah, but it's also a bit of a 
fist in the face to all those beliefs as well. Mm -hmm. Because it just has no resemblance on my life whatsoever, really. The drums I recorded on is my own drum kit, which I've had for about 10, 15 years now. It's an old Pearl Export, 1992. Just whatever, whatever we can get our hands on, whatever I can get my hands on, basically, whatever I can afford at the time. Yeah, that's the drums. Uh, the guitars. I'm using two guitar amps for this recording. Uh, Mesa Boogie um, Roadster model, which is a fairly powerful solid amp, and a Marshall JCM800 combo, which is gives that really top end kind of old school 80s sort of sound. It's an 80s amp made in the 80s, um, which is good. Uh, it's still pretty new, actually pretty fresh. I recorded drum tracks in, I think it was um, November. I did them like in a pretty quick session, like two days. I was recording another band's album at the same time. But I did it, yeah, set in November or something, and now a month later we're doing, we've done guitars and bass all in the space of like three days. And now we're just doing day after day, so I hope we just wind it up really quickly. Ready. Yeah, so we've got three other lead guitarists uh, coming in to do solos. Um, each one of those guitarists has got their own sort of style of playing solos, which will work really well over certain tracks. Like guys we've played in other bands with before. Yeah. We've seen them play and we're like, yep, yeah, you're the dude. Get into it. Yeah, they're the only session musos that we've got. Otherwise, Louie and I record everything else. We are the core of the band, really. My name's Rob, I play guitar, lead guitar mostly, in shrapnel. Whoa. Name's Neil, I play guitar, bit of lead. All right, Alistair, uh, how long have you been playing guitar for and what is your role in the band Shrapnel? I've been playing guitar for about four to five years. Uh, my role is lead guitarist. Cool, cool, cool. Louis is renowned for playing drums in bands in Perth, but for Shrapnel, he didn't want to play drums live, so we had to find another drummer. So that we could just do vocals, which is the first time he's ever been a front man on stage. I am the hell! Continuing on, continuing on the, the tradition, playing heavy sort of thrash music. In Perth. Yeah. In Australia. There's an Australian touch to it as well. It's a very dry kind of Australian sound. Yep. It's not very frilly, it's not very mystical, it's just like brick in the face. Yeah. What ACDC is for rock, we might be for thrash. What Rose Tattoo is. Rock and roll outlaw. Yeah. <laughs>